hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so in the previous uh, videos we discussed about the basic concepts related to the elementary particles or subatomic particles and then we discussed about some basic concepts associated with electric charge so in this video we are going to discuss another important topic associated with electric charge which is Coulomb's law which gives us a mathematical representation okay expression of the electric force existing between two charges okay so we have already discussed that charge is that entity okay is that property of objects which gives rise to electric force so the value of that force is given by the coulomb's law okay the mathematical expression of coulomb's law okay so the coulomb's law was uh, first invented by or it was first uh, it, this this whole concept was given by charles coulomb who measured the magnitude of the forces of charged objects using torsion balance a setup which he invented and uh, it is expressed in terms of a mathematical expression and an important thing associated with coulomb's law is that it gives us the electric force between two charged object objects and the charged the, the two charged objects they are considered as point charges okay those two objects so what is a point charge so a point charge is uh, can be defined as a particle which uh, carries an electric charge and the size of that particle okay that size of the particle is very 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 small so here the subatomic particles or the elementary particles such as electrons and protons come into play because their size is also very 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 small almost negligible okay zero size so the point charges let's say we have two charges q1 and q2 separated by a distance r okay suppose we want to find out what is the electric force exerted by this charge q1 and q2 or charge q2 by on q1 okay the electric force so that is given by the coulomb's law equation so the electric force exerted by charged particle q1 on charged particle q2 is given by f is equal to k into q1 q2 by r square okay this constant k is called as coulomb's constant and is written as 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 now this epsilon subscript co is the permittivity of the free space or the absolute permittivity okay so this value 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 or this constant k which is called as coulomb's constant it has a value of 8.98755 into 10 to the power minus 9 newton meter square coulomb to the power minus 2 okay and uh, if we try to find the value of permittivity just 1 by 4 pi k if we do that it has a value of 8.85419 into 10 to the power minus 12 coulomb square newton inverse meter to the power minus 2 okay so if we look closely at this coulomb's law equation we can see, uh, we can just see that the electric force between these two point charges it is directly proportional to the product of the two charges okay q1 and q2 and is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them okay square of the separation now if we try to correlate this coulomb's law equation with the okay which gives us the electric force between two charges with the gravitational law okay the gravitational law here 
the gravitational force of attraction between two masses there we see that it has some close very almost they are identical okay the nature of the equation is identical so here the analogy between charge and mass also comes into play i have already discussed in the elementary particle video that mass and charge are analogous quantities in when we try to relate the field or the domain of mechanics okay mechanics section of physics with the electricity section so charge plays the same role in mechanics that uh, sorry a uh, mass plays the same role in mechanics as charge in electricity okay mass gives rise to gravitational force charge gives rise to electric force okay mass in mechanics is same as charge in electricity always remember this see here the gravitational force is directly proportional to the product of the two masses inversely proportional to the square of the separation between the two objects here the electric force is directly proportional to the product of the two charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance so charge in electricity is same as mass in mechanics okay so here is an interesting analogy that we found out now the unit of force is will be the same that is newton so coulomb's law is always uh, represented in vector form because we know that force is a vector quantity so it has both magnitude and direction so if we want to uh, write coulomb's law in vector form it is written as force vector is equal to k q1 q2 by r square into r cap this is called as the unit vector which is in the direction of the electric force so he so here this force exerted by q1 on q2 if they are of the same nature that is if they are two negative charges or two positive charges there will be a force of repulsion okay each charge will try to push the other charge away from it so if we say that there are two like charges so there will be a force of repulsion so let's say this is a force of repulsion which is exerted by charge q1 and q2 so this is the direction of the force towards right side so that is represented by the unit vector r cap which is which will be in the direction of this force f and this unit vector r cap is written as r vector by r vector modulus okay the modulus of r so here the x y and z axis comes into play i j and k axis which uh, will be used while solving the numerical problems which will which will discuss so for now you just understand that this is the the expression of coulomb's law in vector form okay so here we have discussed the basic concept about uh, coulomb's law which gives us the mathematical expression of electric force between two charged objects so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much